So hello everyone. Um, this morning I wanted to introduce my latest painting that I've been working on for the last few days. It is um, a hope for um, a, a new tomorrow or a new day. Um, it's a sunrise painting. It's from Gordon um, Gordon's Beach on the southwest coast of Vancouver Island is the reference for it. And I did a small study before I got started and um, it's done in a acrylic. It's the way I do my painting sketches. So I use this for reference and um, video that I took at the time and also other uh, photographs. So that's my process. I don't always introduce um, paintings live, but it seemed like a good thing to do this morning. So I'm just going to check and make sure everything's working all right, and then I'll continue. These are extraordinary times. Um, it's a time when I think that it's important to uh, look at what's most significant to us and see how we can share that with the uh, with our friends with our family and with our communities um, no matter where they are in the world so one of the things i've done is i've offered my introductory um, skill building painting class that's online that you can do by independent study i've offered 200 seats free at this time 100 of those seats are have been filled but there's still a hundred um, available and I'm leaving that offer up until the end of May. At that point, um, sometime before then, I will take the second set of classes and the third set of classes that I've offered both in person and uh, in groups, um, both online and uh, in a classroom setting. And so I'll take those and um, rework them so that they can be done independently as well. The classes have uh, a support group um, on Facebook as, uh, in addition to working independently where students can share uh, their work in progress, they can share any questions they have and where I'll sometimes do a video like this um, that uh, introduces a particular aspect of painting. So if you're one of those people that have either been painting for a long time with acrylics and watercolors but wanted to learn oils and you've got a set tucked away or you're somebody who's received you know oils or water mixable oils for Christmas about five years ago and you think this is a good time to pull them all out and uh, and use them um, this this is the perfect um, introductory class the skill building class for doing that and it gives you all of the basics. Um, the other two classes will have a fee attached to them, but it'll be a very small amount in, in comparison to uh, what the regular fee is. So that's just to allow me to keep supporting, being able to offer the first set of classes free and being able to uh, maintain the platform. So anyway, that I just wanted to let you know that if you're around uh, and pass it along to other people that might be interested. Um, and one of the things with um, this painting that I wanted to do was to be able to capture the movement and energy of the waves and the water and the light, which we know at sunrise or sunset uh, moves very quickly. And in this case, a storm was breaking, and so it was there was still rain over on this side, and you could and these clouds were moving really quickly. So I wanted to be able to get that um, aspect onto the canvas so that the viewer can experience it. So you can let me know in the comments if I was successful in doing that or not. In this time, one of the things that's really important to my resilience and my ability to have hope and my ability to sort of persevere um, is um, 
is to be able to have a strong connection to nature. And uh, so our daily walks are really important. Right now they're not down by the um, water, down by the sea, even though I live fairly close by. We've stepped quite close to home, so we can sort of slip out and go for a walk and slip back in without having any contact with anyone else. Um, so spending time actually painting the sea is one of the ways I stay connected to um, something that I uh, love very much. And in between, while I'm painting, I'm sort of able to think about things that are important to me, like what my children are doing, what my grandchildren are, are doing, how everyone's managing, special gifts that I've received from um, other members of my online community that are all, also part of my um, um, home community, like um, main uh, books, where the new owner, Gail Noonan, is reading chapters um, for story time at seven o'clock at night, specific time. And uh, another friend who's, um, you know, also our veterinarian and, and uh, is a musician and she's a painter, has been playing the piano just gorgeously um, in um, just short little snippets in uh, sometime in her, in her day and offering that to her friends. Another friend who's on the east coast of Canada on the Bay of Fundy in uh, New Brunswick uh, wrote an incredibly moving poem about these, this time and these circumstances um, that I shared with a couple of uh, other people. So if you have a chance and you're feeling like you don't know what you can offer, one of the things that everyone can offer is the ability to live, listen closely to someone else and to listen to what they have to offer and comment on that. We can all do, do that. That's a, a skill that's probably more important than actually having something to give is the ability to listen to someone else's skill or talent with um, regard and um, um, with a kind of depth of connection. And, uh, and you'll hear in, uh, in, in these exchanges, like another friend of mine, uh, John, who's in Vancouver, was playing his guitar and singing uh, a cover song that was, um, you know, perfect for how I was feeling in that, in, in, in that moment. And you will feel this kind of humble, um, not worrying about getting it perfect, not worry about anything other than, let's just take this moment, I, I, I would like to share this with you, that kind of a feeling. So this is my moment. It's, uh, my moment is about painting. That's what I have to offer. Um, my larger community, um, besides, you know, a, a kind of perspective on, um, you know, what it is that we need to be doing, which is staying home. It's the one thing we know works, and it's the one thing that we're being asked um, to do, besides washing our hands and, you know, bringing the groceries in and disinfecting them as before they're put away and to be able to keep, keep each other uh, safe. So I think that's all I wanted to say other than, um, you know, be well and uh, stay safe and do what you need to do for now. It's for now and then we'll see what we need to do next. So take good care. Bye-bye.